Um, first, uh, we're from Sofake.com. My name's Mike. Uh, this is my partner, Brian. This is Jeremy, who works with us, and that's Dave, who just kind of joined our team. And he's becoming a part of our team. Shut up, dog. This is initiation. So, um, I, I don't know if you guys were upstairs at the Keys of Weird thing uh, just a minute ago, but this kind of piggybacks on it a little bit. Uh, first, I just wanted to start and say, I think we came into podca- uh, Pittsburgh PodCamp a little bit different than everyone else, with a little bit different mindset. Um, we have we all have the same goals in mind, but ultimately we're building a brand and we're we're, we're looking to sell stuff, and we're not looking to sell stuff to you right now. But <laughs> the point is that, uh, that that's that's what we're learning. Um, now I do see how we're closely related, though, because the ultimate goal in a website or in a blog or in a uh, podcast is ultimately you need traffic, which is going to come from exposure, from exposing yourself, and from building inbound links. Um, that's where I think this session will come in handy. Uh, contrary to what Justin said yesterday, I don't know if you guys were there, which I, I, I respect and agree with him to a degree. Um, in the business world, I believe that numbers do count when it comes to the web. Um, they, they can be beneficial. So a little bit, uh, let's see. Um, so right now we're going to talk a little bit about what we're doing at the very moment. I'm going to call it an experiment um, because that's basically what we're doing. We're experimenting to build numbers. Um, that's what we do on a daily basis. We experiment with what is going to build numbers on our website. Uh, so a little background first of all, sellpig.com, uh, we're a Pittsburgh area website. And we're pretty new. We just launched in March. Um, so our company is about three years old uh, prior to... Six months ago, we operated completely off of eBay. And up until that point, we had absolutely no clue at all about operating web presence. We had no idea at all. Um, so we were coming into it blind. But the thing that we had going for us is we were all highly dedicated to learn what it is we needed to do to get to the end. So uh, since March, we've, we've built our site pretty hardcore. Um, and we're, we're, we're facing up to battle. We're in a very, very saturated market. We saw cell phone accessories, I don't know if I mentioned that. Uh, pretty boring stuff. But uh, we're still light years away from where we want to be, but the point is, after six months, we're light years ahead of where we were six months ago. So we're doing something right, and I think doing things like this, where we're, we're opening up and discussing, we're gonna turn this into more of a discussion. Uh, we're discussing what works for us, what worked for you, that kind of stuff. I think that's what's really helping us. So I'm going to let Jeremy take a minute uh, and tell you guys about our most recent experiment. And we're going to bring you guys along for the ride. Like I said, this is more of a learning experience. We're learning. We might not be able to answer your questions. Um, we would like you to answer the questions if you can answer the questions. But basically, get everyone involved. So. All right. Um... So pretty much what we're trying to get done with this infographic is we're trying to build links, inbound links to our site. I mean, regardless of what, what's going on, the more inbound links you have, the more traffic and more steady traffic you will have. Um, and that was a harsh lesson we learned. Three months in, we had an SEO um, uh, just like do an analysis on, on our site. We only had 12 links inbound into our website. Right now we have upwards of 300. That's a little inflated, inflated right now. But what we're trying to get out of this infographic is at least 100 hard inbound links to our site. And that's pretty much what we're trying to do, is just push traffic. Um, we're trying to get you guys involved as much as possible. And uh, we're gonna, you'll find out later how us as a little group right now can help kickstart something to become major and to go possibly viral. Um, and we're, like Mike said, we're learning. Uh, we're still learning as we go on. And not a day goes by where there's not something I didn't know the day before. So it's sort of just like, wow, you can do this, you can do that. It's kind of a, it's kind of an awesome feeling to continue to learn in your professional career. So go on to the next slide. Um, this is a brief view of what our infographic is going to look like. Um, it's sort of, it's not going to be pitchy at all. There's not going to be anything with self pick on it. Um, it's just going to be on our site, so it's just going to be more informal and, or more informative than than anything. Um, so pretty much what I mean, how many people you know what an infographic is, or um, 
for the most part, all it is is just a, it's just a fun, quirky way to get information out to the public. Um, you don't want to make it too pitchy because if it's too pitchy, people aren't going to want to forward it to their friends. They're going to be like, he's got to be trying to sell something to him. But if you give them, um, you know, facts that one of like they want to share, so it's a way to go. And it's just a quick way. Because if you look at graphics, you're going to pick up faster than you are reading words. Just, to, just to know The point is, we, we, we're creating something that people aren't going to be like, oh, I don't, I don't even look at this. These people are selling something to me. <laughs> so we're, we're going completely away from the business just for the, the idea of building links and driving traffic to a, a, to a static page on our website that is coming to our URL. Come on. Absolutely. Yeah, just just make it fun and quirky because the funner it is, it's more it will make it more viral. Yeah. All right. How do we cut? Like we're going through a company right now. We want to do this right, and then hopefully we can go to the next one and make it ourselves. We have a pretty good experience with Photoshop and Illustrator, and you know Paint also. So I mean, if there's something you can't do, like Google it. To be honest with you, there's so many things that I didn't know, and then if you Google it, now you're ready to go. You can, it's the most useful thing that is ever possible. To Google. <laughs> Um, so it's just a learning curve for us, and we're going to try to, you know, use our time wisely. That's why we hired someone to do this for us, because it's taking us like 20 minutes a day just to consult with them, just to be like, this is what we want, this is what, you know, we don't want, and it's been a very painless process for us as of now. But I could see if you're trying to do it on your own, um, the graphics that you want to put on there, and the information, gathering facts, it could be, you know, turn into stressful or turn into a big project. All right, so basically what should link an infographic, what should it be? Um, basically, keep it extremely simple. Um, you, if you throw an infographic out there that's filled with paragraphs and paragraphs, I mean, the first thing that's going to happen when someone opens it is they're going to click right through and go to the next. It's not going to be enjoyable. So uh, keep it aesthetically appealing, um, make it likable, because the whole idea here is we're, we're, we're looking towards the word, it's not a word, but virality. We're trying to make something viral, kind of like the Brett Kiesel thing, in hopes of driving traffic, building links. Um, basically make it fast to scan over, or to, to read, scan over, make it fun, make it quirky. It's, it's not a pitch. This is just something that we're creating that's going to bring people back to our URL and make them a link to our URL, URL which we'll explain. But uh, the way I think about it is, I think, is this something that I would want to forward to my brother? If, if I got this in, and I said it because my brother always forwards me all this chunk. But <laughs> <laughs> I think about it is, it, uh, if, uh, if I got this in my inbox, would I uh, forward to my brother? So. And you always have that one friend. Everyone has that friend. <laughs> you always get LinkedIn, like all of his like, tags and stuff. Come on. My girlfriend spams me every day with a Walmart picture, like the women of Walmart, mm -hmm. stuff like that. It's just fun to look at. Um, so what you don't want to do with an infographic is you don't want to make it cluttered. Like I said, this is not going to work for anybody. Um, I don't, wouldn't even know where to begin with this. So if you created this infographic, I'm sorry, but it's not, not what you want to do. Um, so what can an infographic do for you? Well, like we said, it can drive traffic temporarily to your website or for a long term. It depends on where it goes, how you use it. Um, but also you can build inbound links, which are forever. Now the question is, how do you build inbound links? All right, so you got your infographic. It looks awesome. Now what do you do? Um, like we said, we're, we're lucky enough we got into this company that has like this social media guru, which all he does for 12 hours a day is just have people follow him and get makes things viral for, for people. So it's like his full-time job. And um, whether all right, sorry. Um, so whether that is like you know on Dig or Reddit or Stumble on Twitter and Facebook, he has you know a jumbo people a amount of people that are willing to take what he gives out of it and put it out. Yeah, so, yeah. So, it's like, pretty stupid. And you, you guys will see this on Tuesday. Go on. Yeah, so it's just, I mean, like, it's, I mean, that's what we wanted to do. We wanted to make it fun and catchy. We didn't want it to be like, 
I don't know. I don't know what the pigs are sweet, so I don't know <laughs> how anyone wouldn't like want to see more about it. Um, but yeah, there's so many media outlets to, to put your you know your link to to where other people can see it. And like for instance, like we're new to like Reddit, Dig, Twitter, and Facebook, and we're just trying to get a following so people can see what we're doing because we think that we're doing the right thing. And you want to definitely distribute it to whoever you can. And for on Tuesday, when we ever send this, we're going to everyone in my contact book is getting it. So <laughs> you've got to start, you start small, and, and you gotta, you got to build that base to make it go to the next level where you want it to be. You need to distribute it to the right people. Yeah. Uh, you need to have that core group of people that are going to want to push it forward, because nothing will ever get viral in the world if you don't have a core group of people. So keep going. Are you up? Um, yeah, this is still there. Okay. Um, yeah, so who are the right people? Like, obviously, you want to tune your your infographic to the the style that it is. Like for us, uh, pig lovers, you know, a lot of pinks and like softer colors, or or even a lot of pig facts, you know, crazy crazy things like that. But I mean, if you're doing some of the sports deal, you're gonna, you know, of course, you're gonna want to theme it towards, you know, like whatever, football, Steelers, or whatever. However, it may go. In case, um, you know, so every style is different. You just need to find the niche. And if, pretty, if, if you feel that you're a gamer and you like the style of it, I'm pretty sure every other gamer is going to like it. You know, sort of your niche style. There's one person in there. Yeah. What we've been doing for the past couple of weeks and the company that's actually, they're implementing this, but we're going to be a great part of it. What we've been doing for the past couple of weeks is finding all of the, the, the Twitter uh, Twitter people who have a pig in their, in their account. <laughs> or their, their Twitter account is about bacon. Um, the Facebook accounts that are about Twitter are about pigs. Um, and basically, that's the initial group of people this is going to go out to because that's what they do. They talk about pigs, they talk about bacon, they talk about pork. Those are the people that are initially going to kick it over to the next people. It's actually there's a huge following of, of, of bacon. Uh, have you ever watched Epic Meal Time on, on yeah. YouTube? There's so many people that they just love bacon. We're actually true. we're having a bacon infused beer fest, which you guys are all invited to. <laughs> we're infusing beer with bacon um, at, at a little restaurant and bar in Greensburg. Uh, Mr. Bones and and, and Greenberg. Uh, we'll tell you about that later. But uh, uh, we we put out this invite on Facebook and just said we're infusing beer with bacon, and we had like a hundred people hit the "I'll be there" button in a matter of a day. Um, and we had confirmation from so many people that just want to come because there's bacon involved. <laughs> so go on. There's only just the fault. Like that's what you have to do. You have to find something that like I wasn't passionate about bacon before I got into this. <laughs> <laughs> Six months ago. I'm like, I care about steaks, you know, but like it just it just takes one thing to push you in the right direction to get to get where you're going. Um, and then you know once you pass it along, because I mean that's what I'm seeing now. I mean I gotta, I gotta dig in the Reddit account now, so it's just something cool that I see. I just you know like it or you know push it up. Um, so you do it to everyone, and we're gonna like try to get you guys into this group that we just made on Friday. It's called Pittsburgh Peeps. And, We'll tell you more about it, but it's sort of a, you know, if you guys want to get into infographics or boost your blogs up or you want to see it, see, you know, get it seen, um, we made a Facebook group to, you know, we'll explain we, we kick you, you kick us in like a positive way. So once you get like, you know, your infographic out there, how do you know if it's doing well or not? Um, there's this awesome site it's called getclicky.com. You just have to put your web URL and anything in there, and it'll tell you, if, you know, if it's linked anywhere else. An inbound link is in. It gives you else. real time real analytics time. as yeah, opposed absolutely. to some other trackers where you're going to find out at the very moment how many people are linking into you at that very second and where they're coming from. Yeah, absolutely. And then you know Google Analytics just to, just because you know you're going to see a spike that day um, of everything and. Uh, you know, and you can just monitor it yourself. Um, on Twitter, people retweet it. Um, Facebook, you get a lot of likes, a lot of shares with it. Um, you know, people boosting it up, liking it, on dig or digging it, or whatever they call it. So there's just there's just so many ways that you can monitor it now. Like modern technology, like it's crazy if you think that you're blind and you can't see things happening. There is. <coughs> 
Okay, so once again, how, how, how is this helping you? Well, like we said, regardless of the fact that people aren't coming for the, the, the means to the end, they're not coming to our website to buy things. I mean, that's so, like entirely that's what we want. But these people are not doing that. Regardless, it's traffic coming to our URL. And after this whole campaign is put together, actually what we'll do in the end is we'll take the URL that it's on now, it's, it's uh, selfmade.com backslash big infographic. We're going to redirect that URL to a page that we want it to direct to. Uh, the page is going to be covered with metadata uh, of, of, of keywords of, of where, why we want to drive people to our website. Um, but basically, uh, it, it's also helping you because you're building links. And how do you build links? Uh, someone takes it from Reddit and they post it <coughs> on their blog, check this out. Um, they give you credit to it, uh, that kind of thing. I mean, it's all basically, it, it, it's just uh, your, <laughs> it, it's all hopes and plans and prayers and that this is gonna work, that this is gonna, this is gonna be viral. Um, am, am, I, am I expecting this to be on the front page of Fox News? No way, but it's close. But the fact that it can be a small viral and at least be generating some buzz back to our URL and getting some people to link back to our URL, that's beneficial. Um, but basically, uh, people are using your content. They can use it on your on their blog. They can use it on their website. They can use it on uh, their social their social medias, on their Facebook, their Twitter. Um, that's basically how it's helping. So if it's not working, if, if you're if you're checking your get clicky account and your infographic is not doing anything for you, what can you do? Well, you go back to slide number nine. I'll come back to that. Oh, sorry. Go back to slide number nine, and I think I went too far. I don't even know what slide number nine is. And slide number nine, <laughs> slide, and slide number nine was to start over again. Was to start distributing it again. Because, like I said, like we said, this is going to go nowhere if you don't have that initial kick. Uh, nothing in this world is ever going to go viral on, on the internet if you don't have an initial group of people. To, to give it a kick. Um, nothing on Reddit would ever do anything if no one knows who you are. Uh, if, if, if we were to open an account on any of these websites tomorrow and no one knew about it and post something on it, no one's ever going to see it to give it the initial kick. Uh, it is a numbers game. I know that Justin said yesterday that the numbers aren't everything. Maybe the, maybe the numbers are a little bit different in, in, the, in, the, in the sales industry. But they're still numbers. Um, but basically, post it, post it, post it. And this is back to what we had mentioned before. Um, we've been pitching this idea around with uh, some Greensburg websites people are friends with. Um, yeah, there are other websites in Greensburg. Um, <laughs> but we've been pitching this around for months now. And we wanted to create a group on Facebook, which basically is an online networking group. If you think about it, traditional networking groups, I don't know if you guys have ever been in them. Um, I used to have a, a service business, and I was in a networking group. Every Thursday morning at 7 a.m., I'd go and sit down and pass referrals to each other. That, that traditional type of networking group does not work for, for us. We're unique people. We're, we, need a, we have a web presence. Um, so that's why we created the group. And like, like Jeremy said, we did it on Friday. Um, we actually thought it would be great to kick this off this weekend because um, we're going to have this audience. Uh, what Pittsburgh Peeps is, is basically, it's not open to everybody. It's not like we're not uh, going on Facebook and inviting all of our friends to be in this group. This is a group for website owners, for bloggers, uh, for podcasters, which before this weekend I really did, I have never met a podcaster. Um, but basically anybody with a web presence that wants to drive traffic to the website, this group is basically, it's your local Pittsburgh group of people who want to do good for you. In turn, you're going to do good for them. Uh, basically, like Jeremy said, we'll kick you, you kick us. Um, but that's basically what the group is. Um, you can find it on Facebook, Pittsburgh Beefs. And we actually just made a Twitter uh, handle yesterday at Pittsburgh Beefs. We haven't even touched it yet. But, um, check it out, and if you know anybody that has a web presence, get them involved. And basically, you, we have this big group of Pittsburgh people that all have the same interest in mind. Everybody wants, they want the traffic, they want to be seen. So basically, this is that initial group 
when you put something like this out, not, not even necessarily an infographic, when you put out anything, when you put out a blog post, put it to there, and it's going to be, rather than posting it on your personal Facebook where 99% of the people really care less, and, and that's not true in all cases, you're, it's putting it to a group of people who care because they're doing the same exact thing every day. It's kind of the same as Twitter, um, where you have your Twitter followers who are doing the same thing you do, but this is one group where you can go and post pictures, post infographics, post video, you put out a new video, post it on there, and everyone has the same agenda. Um, so basically, that was all we had, um, and we just kind of wanted to open it up. Um, if anybody else has any other link building techniques, I mean, we've, we've experimented in everything, and we're going to continue to experiment in everything. And it's not like we try it and we move on. We're going to try it and we're going to try it again. We're going to do it again. We're gonna work, and that's what this group is. It's learning with each other. You find a new link building technique that worked for you, go into that group and, and share it and see what kind of response you get. See if someone says, no, that's stupid. You're getting horrible things off of that. Do this instead. Um, so basically, if you guys have any questions or if you have any 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 ideas on your own or tips as to what you guys do to build links traditionally. Do you guys promote yourself on like Reddit and stumble upon and stuff like this? Do we promote the cell phone? Yeah, I mean, the, the, you, our products? Yeah. No, we don't. Um, we're, in, in the future, we will use it very, very sparingly. But the problem with, with media is like that is they're more just for fun and pitching. That, that's why we're, this is not pitchy at all. It's just fun because it's it, it's a fun website where people can go and, and, and get a good laugh. Um, but for instance, we do have an American-made product line. Up until last week, we were just all, all straight generic products. Um, this case it covers chargers, screen protectors. Uh, as of last week, we, we added a new product line, which is actually branded, it's our own. It's called Cell Big Skins. Uh, that product line is made 100% in the Pittsburgh area. Once again, I'm not pitching this to you, but I'm just explaining. We have something new and unique that is developed, or that's manufactured not only in the United States, but in this area. That's something that we would be interested in putting out on these sites once we have all of our, our, our marketing together. So, any others? What do you guys do? You guys, are you guys bloggers, podcasters? Nothing? <laughs> Getting into it? A little bit of everything. <laughs> yeah? I just walked in, but I can... What I'm working on, I have a website. Okay. It's in the health and wellness, holistic living. Okay. And um, I've been on Facebook for about a year, and the linking dynamics between my website and Facebook seems to be fabulous. Yeah. It's so a lot of traffic for you? Yeah, they can, one synergizes the other. Mm -hmm. So I'm just wondering how could maybe I even enhance that more. But what we're doing is we're using more than just Facebook. Um, I mean, everybody here, you're, you're all Twitter fiends. We realized that yesterday. Um, we don't use Twitter as much as we should. Um, but finding every social medium that can be used to drive traffic back to your site, like these sites, Reddit, and Dig, Dig's a little older, Reddit's the newer, the newer day. Other, other than Facebook and Twitter, which would, because that's about my sphere right now, what would be, I can't expand how uh, do you use Twitter? Not as much as um, I'm. A, I, yesterday, I really learned a lot about how Twitter could be like a headline. It could really say it's coming, and then they look at the website and see it. And I, I didn't really have that quite as well as I have it today. We we haven't either. We our, our Twitter base is more people that we don't know people that have come from an experience on our website. Um, we've learned this weekend that it can probably be beneficial to get people that you do know that have the same ideas in mind. Yeah. These are the type of people, we're the type of people that want to help you guys, we're the type of people that want to help us. Um, we all have a local connection and we want to pitch each other. Right. Um, so I'm thinking our route, we want to get more People that we have interacted with, people that we know that want to push our cause. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. If my Facebook friends have about a thousand. Um, they could be the hub to go to Twitter. Mm -hmm. 
Would that be that? Absolutely. And that's basically this, this group we created, Pittsburgh Peeps. That's what we're trying to do to create a group that is your hub that will push it out to all those other mediums right. rather than going out and being in all those mediums on our own. We want to put the legwork on other people and have them put it out to even more people. All right, so what would be the next one? We have Twitter, we have Facebook. What do you think would be the next one for MySpace? Just kidding. Just kidding. Oh, I'm just kidding. Do you have, have your guess? No, I think, do you think Google Glass is going to be a big thing? I mean, I'm no, uh, I'm no web whiz, but... It, well, I mean, I, you, you seem to know um, a lot of people in the community who is very um, well aware of social media platforms <laughs> out there. And what's your sense about Google Plus? And do you think it has, it's going to be overpowering? As, as a business, Google Plus will be huge for us because it has traffic, period. Um, what is it going to be the next Facebook? Is it going to overtake Facebook? I have no idea. But that really doesn't matter because even if it does or doesn't, it's still going to be a great tool to interact with people. Uh, there are, I mean, how many, I think Google Plus had 10 million users in their beta version, um, which that was invite only. They had, they had cut it off because there was too many people coming into the beta version. Um, so yeah, I think it's going to be very beneficial regardless of if it overtakes Facebook. But we can't, we can't get on it right now like us as a, as a company. That right. Companies right. aren't allowed to us now. Yeah. Are, you, are you on Google Plus? Okay. Facebook to me just seems awesome. I don't know. <laughs> it's just it's awesome. Funny. It's like another web. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. Basically, I mean, us for instance, we can we there's plugins to Facebook where we can take our entire product line and drop it on Facebook, and we can operate completely off of Facebook. Yeah. And when you get to the to the checkout point, it just takes you to our checkout. Yeah. Facebook's mm -hmm. crazy. The one thing that's happening with uh, Facebook and Google Plus, going back a few years, um, MySpace was the big thing for the high school kids. I work at a church. Okay. Um, the high school kids were like, you know, the big thing was MySpace. They were going up to college and they didn't want to be involved with the little kids anymore. So they, they moved up to Facebook. We wound up with a lot of the younger kids going to MySpace and a lot of the older people, say over 50, unfortunately my age group now, moving into MySpace. So it actually sort of forced the middle group, you know, say 18, or say 17 to 30. That pushed the migration to Facebook. Now we're in a situation where the fastest group growing on Facebook is the over 65. Your parents know how to find your stuff on Facebook, which can cause no end of problems. <laughs> you know, uh, the, the 12 year olds, the 11 year olds are getting accounts on Facebook. Yeah, they're not supposed to, that's another topic. The thing is, that's happening is we're finding a lot of our high school, college, and post college are migrating. I mean, they're still hanging on to their Facebook. A lot of the serious conversations and fun stuff and pictures you don't want parents to see are showing up on Google Plus because it's a lot easier to control. Facebook is trying to adapt to that. They're making it easier to control your circles, control who sees what. But it, my guess is that we're going to see more of the early adopters and the, uh, say, 17 to 35s will be on moving to Google Plus fairly soon. Do you use Google Plus regularly? I do, and I'm considered a freak, and hardly anybody I know uses it. Okay. <laughs> so you're just kind of setting up. I'm 50, 30. I'm an early adopter. Uh -huh. so. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Are you going to say something? Mm. Uh, Thank you. Anybody else? Have anything? If you guys don't have any questions, I mean, we, we cut it pretty short, but uh, I mean, that's the basic gist of things. Check, check us out, check, or check out the group that's for being seriously mm -hmm. cool. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll pull it up so you guys can see what the, uh, what the group, what, what the image looks like. It's pretty, it's pretty There's a few different bits for peaks if you yeah, happen to search for it, so we'll pull it up just so you can see. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we don't have a, we, 
<laughs> what is it? The bacon it's beer. Oh, October. Uh, October 8th. October 8th. October 8th. October 8th. It's October 8th. October 8th. Greensburg at Mr. Bones. Yeah. Oh, cool. You can also find that uh, on our Facebook page as one of the events. Um, there's my personal pictures. Yeah, right there, right behind. Like the last recent that they did. Okay. This is just so you see what our what our graph is, so when you see it, you know that that's us. But uh, um, right now, I think we have like eight members on it, um, which are all our, all of our website friends from Greensburg. Um, so we don't even have a dedicated URL uh, from Facebook. But when you see that image. That stupid little image of peace. That's us. <laughs> <laughs> and we kind of went with peace because uh, Twitter has a little bit, you know. But uh, that's the group. And seriously, like, it, it, we see it as being something very beneficial. So check it out. And uh, if you know anybody who has websites or has has blogs, has podcasts, get them involved because especially people in this area, we're going to want to help each other. So. That's about all we've got. Thank you guys. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Appreciate you coming.